We're going to start with a drill called A's. Um, A's is really focused on firing your hip flexors, which are the muscles right in front of your hips in a really rhythmic and dynamic manner. Leg speed and turnover is derived from the hips, so that's why this drill becomes really important. To do this drill, you just want to stand really upright and tall and think about kind of driving your knee as if you're going to knee a soccer ball straight into the air. You quickly accelerate your knee up from your hip and then repeat with the opposite leg. And as you can see, Mario's posture is really tall and upright. His knee is coming to about a 90 degree angle and it's a really quick turnover. The second drill is called B's and the focus of B's is to really quicken your foot strike. You know, the goal is to get your foot right under your body right under your center of gravity, so you're not overstriding. When you overstride and your heel is way in front of your body, that's when you're kind of putting the brakes on. What you're gonna do is similar to the first drill. You're gonna kick your leg straight up instead of just your knee and bring it really quickly under your body so that it gets right under your center of gravity. It's a little bit awkward at first, so really just start with walking, kick your leg out, get it under your body, and just do that really casually until you can kind of add a skip in. The third drill is called C's, or probably more commonly known as heel kicks or butt kicks. Better efficient heel lift will lead to a more efficient stride. Start with a really quick running cadence and get your heel really just kicking up to your butt. And you can start by running in place and then add a slight forward movement. You know, you can almost be standing in place and be more efficient doing this drill. So really just really quick cadence, get your heels up to your butt and move forward. So once you've mastered all of the basic mechanics of these three drills, you're going to put them together starting with about you know, 10 seconds each or even 20 seconds and just do them back to back. Eventually, if you want to segue into strides after this, so you'll go straight from heel kicks right into a really fast, quick run. That's a really great way to start your warm up. So now that you're familiar with these drills, when you've got the basics down, you can incorporate them either into your warm-up or the middle of your run to help build a foundation for a smooth and efficient run stride.